In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a health potion, and it builds off of the health bar tutorial I previously made, so I will leave a link to that in the description below. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is make a actor, which will be our actual health potion. So right click, blueprint class, actor, name it BP underscore health potion, hit enter, and just leave it how it is for now, because we are going to actually be starting in the third person character and fix a few things in there. We just want to go ahead and create this. So go third person, third person character. And here's the health si system from that previous tutorial. And what we want to do is put this where we regain health onto an actual function. So to do that, Go over here to your functions, click the plus next to it, and name it something like add health. And then over here on the inputs, click the new parameter and make this a float and name it health added. So next we could head back to the event graph and delete this to key. And then copy this stuff with our event dispatcher and everything. And you can go ahead and delete it. And then paste it right over here. And then drag this a little bit back. Hook it up right there. And then the health added value needs to plug it right here. Instead of having that base number in there all right and that's basically all we had to do on the character so you could compile and save and close out of this and head back to the health potion and open it up and inside here we could add two static meshes just to give this a little shape so name the first one bottle and then name the second one cap and make sure cap is like a child of bottle and for the bottle just search over here in the static mesh for sphere and there should be like sphere sphere should work fine you just have to scroll down until you see it and then scale it down just a bit all right something along this size should work and then i went ahead and also made it the root of the sector so that will also change your scale a little bit but now for the second one actually it act it deleted mine so i named it cap i believe and this word will be a code static mesh and it may be massive like minus so i'm going to scale this down to the same size that i made the bottle all right so there we go all i did was scale it down to about the same size and flipped it over and kind of used it as a little cat and for the bottle I believe there is a base red material yeah just use like some randomly named material but it's still red and for the cat I believe there is also something that's brown nope let's try black yeah and then just use a black material you can make your own materials and textures for it but that's up to you it's just a basic health potion. Next, we have to do add component and do sphere collision. And scale this down to about the same size as the meshes you made. You do it a little bit bigger if you want the pickup radius to be wider. But just something along those lines. Then compile and save. And then go to the event graph 
and delete all of this and then right click and do on begin overlap or even actor begin overlap for the other actor do cast to third person character and then here is where we are going to call that function we made so search for add health and right here is the health added value and what you could actually do is create a variable right here and just name it health amount and set it to float and drag it out and hook it on here and just click this little eyeball here and then that way you can adjust the health about on each and every health potion without having to go into the blueprints but also make sure you compile and save and set an actual value to this i'm gonna do like 25 but you could set whatever you want and then compile and save and we can head back and test it out all right so i have them added and if i take damage by pressing one and then I run into them see they give me health but you notice there's a little issue with them and that they're not disappearing so i could just pick them up infinitely that was actually a mistake i made that I actually skipped on accident and also you notice they're spitty which i will show you how to do that too so go ahead and go back into your health potion so let's fix them disappearing so go to event graph and at the end of all this drag off of this and do destroy actor and just have self for the destroy target also that rotating you saw was from this rotating movement component you just go add component rotating movement and then click that and you could set the rotation speed over here and I just set it to 100 just for a nice little rotation and compile and save close out of this and now if we play it again and we take damage as you can see the health potions now disappear when we pick them up all right well I hope you enjoyed the video if you found it useful then subscribe for more leave a like and I will see you in the next one bye bye